You may have been hearing some Detroit Lions hype this offseason. They're coming off a 9-8 campaign where they narrowly missed the playoffs and showed a ton to like. After that, the team then had a great draft and an outstanding free agency. Understandably, there's a lot of excitement heading into the season. I think it's all warranted, too. This Detroit Lions team is looking pretty scary for 2023, and let's quickly break down why. You may have heard about how good the Lions offense was in 2022. They finished as a top 5 unit in the league, with career years from guys like Jared Goff, Amon Ross St. Brown, and Jamal Williams. This year's offense looks somewhat different, but I think it could be even better than last year's. Jared Goff had an outstanding campaign, recording over 4,400 yards, 29 touchdowns, and 7 picks. Considering he still has an excellent situation and one of the best offensive coordinators out there, I'm looking for an even bigger year from him. While it's true that the wide receiver room could have some question marks with the loss of DJ Chark to the Panthers, I'm not really worried about it. A healthy Jameson Williams will have plenty of time to play this year after he turns from suspension, and I can see him breaking out. Plus, Detroit added Jameer Gibbs, who's essentially a wide receiver as well as a running back. They also drafted tight end Sam Laporta, who should be a big part of the offense and is yet another pass-catching target. The main running back duo of the bruiser David Montgomery and the dynamic and explosive Jameer Gibbs should be deadly to other teams and super fun to watch. Add an arguably the number two offensive line in the league, and the offense is looking loaded. Jared Goff, Jameer Gibbs, David Montgomery, Amon Ross St. Brown, Jameson Williams, Sam Laporta, some really nice other pieces like Khalif Raymond, and that monster offensive line. The Lions are going to be putting some points on the board, to say the least. It's well known that Detroit's defense was their big problem last year. All facets of that side of the ball struggled throughout 2022, and Brad Holmes definitely noticed. Through the draft and free agency, the Lions have made some pretty sweet additions, and the defense is looking like a vastly improved unit. They added Cam Sutton, Emmanuel Mosley, CJ Gardner-Johnson, Brian Branch, and will have Tracy Walker returning from injury. It's a total overhaul of a previously terrible pass defense, and now it looks like one of the better units in the league. They added first-round pick Jack Campbell to solidify their sketchy linebacker room as well. Detroit also picked up a massive devel developmental defensive tackle in Broderick Martin, who should help shore up an inconsistent run defense. The defense could still use a couple additions here and there, sure, but the improvement from year to year is incredible. I'd expect this to be a top 15 unit across the league, but that's not all. This might be a hot take, but it wouldn't surprise me to see them finish as a top 10 unit if young guys like Josh Pascal break out. It's a defense packed full of young dudes and a lot of fun players to watch. The defense was so messy last year, but that side of the ball is super intriguing heading into the 2023 campaign. Not only is the team looking good for 2023, they have a bright future ahead of them past this year. On offense, quarterback Jared Goff is 28, running back Jameer Gibbs is 21, wide receiver Amon Ross St. Brown is 23, tight end Sam Laporta is 22, and wide receiver Jameson Williams is also 22. It even applies to some guys in the offensive line. Tackle Panay Sula is somehow still only 22, I'm not sure how, guard Jonah Jackson is 26, and center Frank Ragnow is 27. On the other side of the ball, it's the same story. Aiden Hutchinson, Josh Pascal, James Houston, and Aleem McNeil are all core pieces on the defensive line that are under 25 years old. Linebacker Jack Campbell is 22, and he's some super young help with Malcolm Rodriguez and Derek Barnes. In the secondary, CJ Gardner Johnson and Jerry Jacobs are both only 25, plus impressive rookie Brian Branch is 21. Kirby Joseph, the rising star safety, is still only 22 years old. It's really exciting to see the sheer amount of young talent present on both sides of the ball. General Manager Brad Holmes has done an outstanding job adding young guys who can play from year to year, and he's going to keep doing that. Lions fans can finally have some peace of mind. The team will have to make some tweaks as the years go by, sure, but they're a very well-constructed unit and should be competing for the years to come. There was plenty of hype before the 2022 season as well, but if you were going to be objective, the team still had a lot of problems. This year, though, it's different. The 2023 squad has essentially zero real weaknesses. Sure, some positional groups aren't as good as others, but all the holes have been patched and the team is looking great. We can actually get hyped up, and it's not delusion because Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have built a rock-solid team with very few issues. These aren't the same old Lions. When you consider the elite offense they should have, and consider that the team still had a winning record last year with that future defense, it's exhilarating to think about that good of an offense with a solid defense added in. That's what we have now. In a previous video, I guessed at a 12-5 record for the Lions, and I'll stand by that, but again, we'll see what happens. With all that being said, I think I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you made it this far, leave a lion emoji in the comments to let me know. I hate to be that guy, but I'd also really appreciate if you subscribe to support me on this channel. Stay tuned for more sports content coming out soon, and I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.